Hello, everyone, and welcome to this discovery webinar at the Creative Computing Institute. My name is Georgina Cabdevilacano, and in this session, I'll be your host. And today, we are here to share all about some of the new courses, the new set of courses that we have launched at the Creative Computing Institute that are going to be starting very soon. Today, we're here to talk about the following courses. We have the BSc and MSc in Computer Science, and we have the BSc and MSc courses on Data Science and AI, which are going to be starting now in September for this new academic year 2023-2024. Not only you will get to hear all about these new amazing courses happening at the Griff Computing Institute, which, by the way, I'm going to be referring to CCI from now on. You will also get to know the course leaders and senior lecturers that will be leading you on your student journey at CCI. Today we'll have with us Dr. Olufemi Ziak, who's the program director of the subject area, uh, data science and AI and computer science. We'll also have Evan Raskop, senior lecturer and the course leader at the BSc in computer science. We'll have Keyal Jevel, Senior Lecturer and Course Leader at the BSc in Data Science and AI. And we'll also have the pleasure of having Wen Juzang, who is the Senior Lecturer and Course Leader at the MSc in Computer Science. To give you an overview of how today's session is structured, we're going to start off with a presentation from Dr. Olufemi, who will be sharing about his expertise in the field and talking us through the vision and mission of this new set of courses on the field of computer science and data science and AI at the Greek Computing Institute. Right after that, you'll have the chance to get to know the senior lecturers and course leaders who will be leading you on this learning journey. We'll start with Evan, we'll follow with Keyal, and we'll finish off with Wenchu. During this time, you'll hear about their expertise and vision for these courses that they will be teaching on and leading. And it's a fantastic opportunity for you to get inspired by them and the potential of the courses that they will be leading. Last but not least, we'll move on to the Q&A section where we will welcome questions from the audience. And there we encourage you to interact with us on the chat and share with us any questions, any doubts that you may have about these new courses, the subject area, or the Grief Computing Institute overall. If you find yourself in any other social platform right now on Twitter or LinkedIn, I encourage you to jump onto YouTube and use the chat function to interact with us and send us any questions or thoughts or, or, or comments you have about what we'll be sharing today. We'll keep an eye on the chat and we'll do our best to answer to all the queries that we receive during this Q&A section in the end. And just before we continue, just a note to say that if you have difficulties following along the session, please know that this entire session will be uploaded on our YouTube channel with English closed captions. So please don't worry if you miss any detail, you'll have the opportunity to catch up at your own pace as well after today's webinar. So let's get this started. It's a pleasure for me to introduce you to Dr. Olufemi Ziak, Program Director of Computer Science and Data Science and AI at the Creative Computing Institute. Welcome, Femi. Thank you so much, uh, Georgina. Um, thanks for bringing me in uh, uh, at this moment. Uh, I am Dr. Olufemi Ziak, as you've introduced, uh, and I can quickly uh, share my slides and talk about myself as well as uh, uh, the Creative Computing Institute, Computer Science and Data Science, uh, and Hey Hi uh, course. So um, we have the Creative Computing Institute, which is an institute created uh, within UAL, University of Health London, uh, which is known for that creativity uh, and heart. And as we know, human is synonymous to hat, uh, as we know, generally. So um, I am uh, a PhD holder. Uh, I am a chartered engineer. I'm a member of the British Computer Society, as well as a senior fellow uh, in uh, education. Uh, what brought me to CCI is the strategic embedding, embedding of uh, the creativity, which is the hat's nature, uh, into technology and as we know technology is the heart of the entire world at the moment so strategically ben, uh, embedding these things together uh, is one of the key reasons uh, i had to come to cci 
uh, because obviously I have been involved in, with uh, the industry and academic for nearly two decades. And I have substantial experience in this area to kind of look at what is the next of human age. And the next of human age is that embeddement of technology into our creativity. And that's what you will help Creative Computing Institute is actually offering at the moment, which is one of the reasons why I'm actually here. So Creative Computing Institute uh, is one of the four institutes I've been created at UAL, uh, but we are having the computer and data science um, course, which is based in the heart of London. We have few campuses, uh, but we are based in central London, which is Holborn. So students get to study in the heart of London. So like I did say, why Creative Computing Institute and then why computer science and data science in the Hart University? So we are working into looking into intersecting creativity, which is what human is known for. Uh, and the limitation which a lot of people do have is the technology that we have now is now helping us to kind of uh, augment uh, whatever we think we can do and create new things and innovation but we've always been limited by that technological aspect. And now we are of that creative mind and we are aiming to then look into uh, implementing that. So what we're all about at the computer science uh, and data science uh, group within the University of Heart is to look into tapping that creativity within that environment, applying it using that technology and then obviously creating some form of innovation. So we're exploring computer and data science uh, and creative practice through innovation uh, and then creating new opportunities from that. So uh, the Creative Computer Institute is not just stopping at that. Uh, we are looking into uh, doing everything that is meant to be done in the academic world. And that, re that includes research. So we carry out extensive research regarding machine learning, regarding AI, in data science, human factor, computer interaction. And even we go to the extent of physical computing to actually implement that thing. So nothing is gonna stop us from actually achieving what we have in mind. And this is what we are trying to pass out to all the students that will be coming. Uh, the same thing, the knowledge we're creating from research, we are putting it into our teaching. Like I said, I'm a senior fellow and I've got nearly two decades of experience uh, around embedding knowledge into younger ones. That's why I am included in academics. And same goes for all the course leaders as well. So we have got this embedding uh, knowledge from research in our teaching as well. And we don't stop at teaching only. We, st we try to do knowledge exchange. Our students also are able to carry out knowledge exchange. And that includes the social mission, which is we're trying to look into the digital inclusion, diversity in technology, and obviously digital entrepreneurship. So now computer and data science and AI has two blocks. So we have the undergraduate, which is the BSc, and we have the postgraduate, which is the MSc. So with the MSc, we have MSc computer science and MSc data science. With the BSc, we have the BSc computer science and BSc data science and AI. So whichever one you feel is okay uh, or you're capable of achieving, uh, we will always guide you and make sure you get to that next human age. So why join us at uh, CCI for your UG, which is undergraduate or postgraduate in any of the courses? As you know, computer science will be looking into uh, having to help with using computer technology uh, to actually achieve what is needed in terms of life. And then we're looking into the data science perspective, trying to gain insight from data and then try to do more on whatever insight that we might have gotten. And I did mention the other time, it's all about creativity, it's all about application and it's all about innovation. So from the BSc computer science, I've got even the course leader and senior lecturer in computer science, we'll be talking in details about most of these courses. So we, this is ranging from having to carry out programming, we are going to teach you how to write programs, Python and every other thing, to human factor, to security, human security and cloud computing, and every other aspect of computer science. So we're not saying because we're at university, uh, we are going to leave you to just study computer science at the bottom. No, 
we are getting you to study computer science at the highest level. What is more interesting about it is you are studying computer science in a university, which means you're getting the best of both worlds, both in computer science and hat and humanity, which is what human is all about. The same thing applies to data science. So I will be getting the BSc data science course leader, KL, who will be talking about this in a bit and why you should actually do this with us. And doing the BSc data science on AI, we include teaching you the best and the technology, the latest technology, which includes things around machine learning, things around AI modeling, things around data science and what tools and technology that are needed to actually achieve the data science and technical, the technical knowledge required to get the best of this. So how are you gonna go about learning in CCI if you then come in? We are varying level of teaching and different approaches uh, that we'll normally take. That varied from the individual work uh, that you'll be given. It goes into group work. You are gonna be meeting some of your colleagues and people from other part of the world not only in in uk we have international community that we're building within the community of cci as well and it will mean that whether you are a uk citizen you are having the best of the international world whether you are an international student you are having the best of international world as well so you're not restricted so you have in group work you're going to be meeting people from different parts of the world which you're going to be working with you have lectures practical tasks and this practical task has been supported so we do have uh, learning technology coordinators that will be supporting you at every time even outside class and we've got seminars pre-recorded lectures and tasks we've got questions and, and answer sessions we've got tutorials and we still have some other bookable events such as one-to-one -one support so you could decide you want to have a tutorial with your subject tutors. The course leaders are always available to ensure they give you guidance on that and any other lecturers that you might have. And we are looking into you having tutorial with IT experts. Like I said, we have the learning coordinator team who is gonna be supporting you on any technical or any technology that you've been taught. So it is pretty hands-on. We are not teaching theoretical things only here you have a greater understanding of the theory and you then needed to lay your hands on it and as you as you tell most of my students you need to get your hands dirty by actually doing it so it's not all about knowing it's all about doing and utilizing it we have pastoral support which is you all students will be getting the pastoral tutorials with an assigned personal tutor so every student in CCI computer and data science program, we'll be getting minutes or times with their pastoral tutors who is gonna be helping them through life. And that varies from things around personal things to subject matters and to even career, how you could actually develop yourself in your career. So if you are coming to you how creative computing, which is computer data and data science, you are going to be living with some of those things and more. Creativity is just going to be what is our mantra. Technological skills, you don't just need to be creative. You don't need to think about it. You are going to need to apply it and actually carry it out and see the end of it. You are going to need to, that leads you to the innovation. And by the time you put all this together, you are going to be self-sufficient in life skills. It means you can then have that autonomy. You have ownership of things amongst other things. And you control, that means you have total control of your life. So we don't leave you to just have all those skills. We will still need to help you again to then cross into the industry, into the outside life. So things like uh, Ignite event, uh, which we have, is more into helping with industry partnership, trying to look into how best we could exchange knowledge, uh, we could transfer knowledge, uh, this is some form of uh, event uh, that is being supported by Innovate UK, trying to unite uh, the cutting edge research that we are actually doing with business innovation. And we are trying to build the next technology or technology of tomorrow. So there's going to be several activities, several events, such as showcases of your work, 
public engagement. We do have conferences that we're going to be setting up. And that would be things uh, that would help you to start to engage uh, public, uh, uh, the public generally. When you put all this together, that shows that you are getting ready for the world. And getting ready for the world would mean that you are actually trying to get yourself well-skilled, ready for employment. And being ready for employment, you would see from the futures uh, that I've picked this from, uh, the future survey, key technologies and key skills that you're actually getting or uh, that is looked for for the next three years is critical thinking and analysis, problem solving, self-management, and working with people. So these are top skills. And these are the things that we are actually giving to you in computer science and data science program at CCI. So you would have that employable skills, whether you like it or not. And from the future and jobs, we are looking into you converging technology and cross-disciplinary skills, uh, the growth and expansion of technology, interconnectedness, interconnectivity, and collaboration. So you are converging innovation. That's what it is because you're getting everything together and make it in real. That's what CCI is all about. That's what computer science and data science and AI is all about in University of Hearts, London. It is quite interesting and what is what we're looking at at the moment. Uh, from the uh, survey that has actually been done by uh, the World the world Economics, uh, you could see uh, World Economic Forum, AI and machine learning specialist is number one of the 10 fast growing jobs. Sustainable specialist, business intelligence, information security, and obviously data analysts and scientists. So the top and robotic engineers as well. So you can see that almost the top seven of the jobs that you've got that are fast growing is what we are actually offering at CCI. So this is very, very important part. And we're looking into the creativity, the application and the innovation, which is now gonna take us to the next human age. And this is just the best time to come to CCI to get yourself ready to be part of that next human age. And you could always have opportunity to contact us uh, by making general inquiries uh, from Creative Computing Institute and HATS, uh, the AC, at, at the AC.UK and several other aspects of which you can actually connect when you go to our website. Uh, thanks for joining me today. And I will give you back to Georgina. Thank you. Thank you so much, Femi, for this super insightful and lovely presentation. Thank you. Now, it's a pleasure for me to invite Evan, Kial, and Wenchu this, to this virtual space so we can start the round of presentations. Hello, Kial. Hello, Wenchu. Hello. Hello, Evan. Welcome. Welcome, Hello. everyone. Thanks so much for joining us here today. It's a, it's a pleasure sharing space with all of you and yeah. getting to know about yourselves and your experience and what you are bringing to CCI and to these amazing new courses at the Institute. Now, I would like to start by passing the mic to Dr. Evan Rasko, who will be the first one to give us uh, an introduction about their work and what the computer science course will be about, the VSC. Evan, the, mic, the floor is yours. <laughs> Great, thanks Georgina, and uh, thanks Femi for giving that great overview. Um, I think you said pretty much most of what there is to be said. Um, I just, uh, I guess, talk briefly about myself. I have a pretty varied career. I started out studying engineering, and um, I've done a number of things since. Uh, I've been working in the arts and uh, design uh, for quite a while. At the same time, as teaching computer science and creative computing. Um, I guess, fun random fact about what I've done in the past. I worked on an industrial assembly line building cars for a while. <laughs> so I have firsthand experience of uh, what it's like to work in an engineering system uh, on, on the making side, I suppose. Uh, I've also worked for a number of artists. Uh, I've worked for software companies before. I've worked for media companies like ITV, uh, architectural firms like SOM, uh, helping to build interactive installations and lighting systems. Uh, so I've done, I've done quite a lot of different things, but these days I mostly do um, 
teaching and I do a uh, performance sculpture where I like to use computer code to make audiovisual performances and even to control 3D printers and make different types of, uh, you know, sculptures that push the boundaries of what kind of forms we can make. Um, and this is an actual area of research because we're really interested in uh, different forms we can use with 3D printers. Um, what they called the different types of algorithmic structures to create different types of uh, materials with different properties. So what brought me to the CCI? Uh, I know quite a few people at the CCI and I've been with them uh, for years. Uh, I, I'm new to the CCI. I've only been here a few months, but I've been teaching for about almost 20 years with, um, with the rest of this crew and uh, really interested in the group of, you know, activists, uh, programmers, creatives, uh, researchers. It's a really good bunch of people. And uh, we're bringing that depth to the computer science and the other courses where, you know, everyone, uh, a lot of our lecturers are teaching across all the different courses. So if you do come here, you'll get quite a mix of experienced people doing very interesting things. Um, I suppose uh, one thing you might ask is why this course is needed. Uh, why do this course in an arts institution? I know family was talking about it. Uh, I think also, you know, there, there really is that critical component to computer science that's sometimes missing from other degrees, especially in engineering colleges. Um, they might take a more tools and software based approach to things uh, or, or software first or software centric approach. Uh, whereas I think our approach is going to be more about computational thinking, um, more of, I'd say, an old school computer science approach about, you know, what algorithms really are, how they're applied in the real world, how they affect people, how they affect systems, and how we can really take control over those. Um, you can think that a lot of computing these, these days is centralized uh, in big corporations. A lot of services that we have through the web are centralized. And um, part of having this new degree and part of the arts education is, you know, giving us some control back, you know, taking control back over our health, well-being, and, uh, and time. Um, also, you know, I, I really enjoy making things imaginative and playful. Uh, I make games as a side project. I've published uh, a game about basically about speculative and science fiction design around uh, computing in the future. And that's something we really want to bring to the course, that playfulness with computing. So not only do you get degrees that are going to be useful for you professionally, but also that are rewarding and fulfilling in terms of your basic humanity and interest. Um, so as Femi said, there's a number of pathways that you can get out of this. Uh, I think our main pathways you'll get on the computer science degree are uh, first what we call HCI researcher. So uh, human computing interaction, which is a form of user experience design. Okay, and these terms mean that basically it's computers with people how computers can interface with people, how people can interface better with computers. Um, and with that comes a whole host of things like ethics of doing that, you know, working with people, different design methods, different ways of collaborating with people, um, looking critically at the interfaces that we have, like our phones and our web browsers and all the different things, physical computing, you know, physical interfaces as well. Um, and also this comes to cybersecurity, which is a hot topic. Uh, you know, built into that is how do we keep things secure? Of course, that goes with ethics. You know, how do we protect people? Um, but I think these are really important skills these days uh, when we have all these kind of uh, lots of cyber attacks going on, as you may have heard. Uh, another main strand of this is also software engineering. So studying what is programming, um, how do we program, learning different languages, understanding programming for different environments like digital graphics, um, maybe to a lesser extent games, but definitely creative tools, media, and then uh, probably first and foremost, programming for the web, for databases, uh, programming for distributed systems and clouds. Uh, to a lesser extent, we're looking at information systems. So you can come out of this degree as a consultant or analyst uh, for information security or developer ops. Um, you'll hopefully understand the full stack of how computing works uh, from the front end with the user all the way to the back end of uh, how programs interface with the data and then the hardware underneath them. Um, and uh, I think secondarily, you know, you might be come out of it interested in what I'm interested in, which is maybe computing for the arts, computational art and design, you know, looking at the interface of how computing works with uh, more artistic outputs or architectural outputs or generative art outputs. Um, 
but yeah, common to all that, you know, ethics, servers, computational thinking, full stack, you know, definitely. Um, and then a bunch of digital media techniques. Um, I think that's most of the things that I was going to talk about here. Um, I'm just checking my list of things to you. I think, uh, you know, also, I, I would say also a big part of it is professionalism, uh, where, you know, we're going to teach you how to run projects. And this is also something that works well in the arts, because the arts, a lot of people come out of the arts learning the studio practice method of learning how to teach, collaborate with other people, work independently, you know, manage their own practice and reflect. And that's definitely something we want to get out of this. People who can be independent practitioners who can also work with groups. Um, Okay, if you have any other questions, I'll be here in the Q&A, but I think that's all for me. Thanks. Thank you so much, Evan, for your presentation. It's an absolute pleasure having you here at CCI with us. Now it's time to hear from our next speaker. Um, she's Kayal Jivel. Uh, she's a senior lecturer and course leader at the BSc in Data Science and AI. Kayal, the floor is yours. Hello, and this is Kyle, and uh, I'm the course leader, and I work as a senior lecturer in the BSc Data Science and AI. Um, so to get introduced about me, I'm a person who believes uh, in the words of Steve Jobs, uh, the dots interconnect. Um, you don't know what takes you where and how things uh, interconnect in your life. And I'm a living example for that. Um, I just started uh, my career or studies in electronics and then got into computer science. And then I, I did a lot of research with IoT. And then I start to understand that there is a lot of interrelationship between the Internet of Things, the data science and the AI and put together. And then later I thought, like, uh, why don't I start a club? And then I did do um, uh, I founded a club by name IoT Alliance. The whole idea behind it is to nurture young minds to do a lot of uh, problem solving stuff. Um, so according to me, I felt like there is a lot of industries working on on very pressing problem statements. But but we felt like if you look around, there are still a lot of problems which you and I can get together and solve. Um, even a queuing system cannot be improved when you're with when you're in your train uh, station or in your bus uh, waiting for something there's still something to be improved. Um, whichever country you are and whichever part of the world you belong to, we still have problems to solve and that's what brings you all, I mean, and myself to be here. So um, having said that and into CCI, as uh, Femi and Ivan was rightly saying, I always felt like um, the creativity is something which, which brings something to the highlight. If, uh, if I have to make you understand a bit easier, what I felt was, um, if you look at the GUI, okay, with Steve Jobs start, did that. But be, even before that, there was no uh, mouse clicks and things like that. What fascinated us was that calligraphy. What fascinated was things, how when it is presented well. Though you do a lot of electronics and you assemble a lot of stuff, but if you don't put them in a proper packaging and put it in a very presentable way, you're not going to be in the market. When I say market, I'm not talking plainly about business. It's, it's all about how you and I can add value to the society, right? So creativity is the must and irrespective of whichever domain you are from, uh, we are here to kind of um, nurture you, bring uh, from the roots you are, staying that, keeping that intact and, and bringing you forward. And all, I've also done uh, pretty much some research on textiles. Um, uh, we all have a lot of inspiration to bring in a lot of curtains and make it a lot of beautiful stuff in our house, right? So can the curtains by themselves, can they, can they protect radiation if you use a specific material, right? So there's, uh, there's something which you can, we can think of. And there is something like in civil engineering, you can do a partnership with where you can say, can I paint, understand your mood and do something about it? I mean, it's all about how when, when people, I mean, years ago, 10 years ago or 30, 20 years ago, they never thought that something like that can exist. But you and I, people like, people like all of us here thought about it and we just brought them into life. And at CCI, we are thinking of something which, is, which looks like a magic, which, which looks like um, not really doable. But we think of great stuff and we try to get there. 
And uh, I thought like I would like to present my slides. Um, so so th that was a, a pretty very casual introduction about me. But if at all you wanted to have conversation with me, we'll have Q&A. And, and there's lots of way with which you can connect us. And I just wanted to make uh, my presentation very, very simple because um, there are a lot of stuff available in Google. And I just wanted to say to you something which Google cannot say. And, and, and that adds a real value, right? So maybe at a different perspective. So I just wanted to keep it very simple. Uh, why DS and AI and what is in for you and why you want to do it here and what after you do the course with us? And uh, pretty much basically, if you, if you think about it, closing your eyes, it's all about data, right? Be it whatever, you, you are saying like 13 degrees Celsius, you're talking about a temperature, which is a data, and it decides your trips, it decides everything. So, so if you look at the, the underlying foundation, it's all about data. So if you know to handle them properly, if you know to use them properly, use it for predictive and things like that, you are the master. Right. So anything who is into diagnostic and predictive, this course tries to bring that a little early to you. And when you have the data and you have the intelligence to interpret it, and that's how the, 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 the killer is. That's that's the real uh, fact. So we try to make people to understand the data and add an intelligence to it. And you may ask, like, which domain can I go if data is everywhere and you are everywhere? And that's what I wanted to bring it to you. There's no field which where there's no data. So if you know to science, if you uh, if you if you need, if you know to engineer how the data should be, and add a bit of artificial intelligence, add a bit of machine learning to it, and all that stuff. So so you are going to be everywhere, and you'll be needed for any creative world for that meter matter, be it media and uh, entertainment, be it any industry for that matter, and every domain needs you. And uh, why it is uh, maybe why it is for you. OK, so I felt like uh, if you I mean, you, you might be in the age of 18 or you you might have done something and you wanted to do a switchover. But then I thought this might uh, give you an idea. Why do you want to do a BSc in data science and AI? The first question is early, the better. If you're very clear that you wanted to have some kind of a specialization earlier and then you wanted to dig deeper. I always feel earlier will make you the, the, the pioneer in the field a much ahead of someone else. The second thing is you already have the skills intact under your undergraduate degree. So you can have your paths ready. Either you want to work, go to work. Either you wanted to do your higher education, deepening your BSc into MSc courses, or you want, want you wanted to change a shift in your master's degree, please go ahead, tie it up with the blockchain or try tie it up with anything. And then you can do a PhD or you wanted to do um, join an industry, go to an entrepreneurship, you're ready there, right? So any domain, you have a place and a role to play. And this, I, I, I don't know. Um, I mean, you might have heard about it, or I would just say uh, the Gartner is the one who decides what companies uh, should decide uh, for the next 20 years uh, for their business to run. So it is, it is that vital about these Gartner predictions, right? So, so, so he, they just say that the killer thing is data science, the killer thing is AI, and if you mix them together and you're there. And if the whole industry is going to invest so much onto it, it obviously gives us an indication that you have a role to play. You have a job to play. And that's that's what I wanted to say about it. Um, so this is something which I got from uh, the, the Google, which is available. You can have an um, idea about this, uh, the 2023 Gartner Emerging Technologies, and you can you can dig a little deeper about it. And then why here? I always think simple things um, hits hits the heart, right? So whenever I wanted to have a pizza, I know it's in supermarkets, I know it in online shops everywhere, but why do I go to Domino's? And when I want to have a cup of coffee, why do I go to Starbucks, right? So the right things from right people um, from the right place makes it premium. And having said that in a lighter note, in a technical dialect, I always felt looking at so many places, that's the reason why I'm also here in UAL. Very few organizations have understood the balance between the computing for creatives and the computing for art. And CCI at UAL is one of its kind. So that's the reason why we want you here. And just of what you would learn, I mean, in year zero and year one, you will have your basic foundations covered, math and statistics, irrespective of whichever background you come from. So that makes the ground level very clear. 
and then the necessary tools and techniques like programming skills will be delivered to you and then the basics of data science and ai in different perspectives of people governance and society and then year 1 and year 2 year 3 will have your demonstrable skills through projects and then a bit into your year 3 where you go dig deeper into research or entrepreneurship what after ultimate freedom everybody at the ultimate thing what one would expect is freedom to choose so i don't have to be my hands tied after this so you have a lot of freedom to take take up your higher education research entrepreneurship job industry ready whatever whatever so that makes me come to the end of the show and i'm i'm like looking forward to a lot of questions and and seeing you soon at ul thank you thank you kl for your presentation it was lovely to hear from you thank, thank you, you. All right, now it's time to invite our colleague Wen Chu, senior lecturer at and course leader at the MSc in Computer Science. Welcome, Wen Chu. So I'm going to unmute myself. <laughs> How does my sound sound now? We can we can hear you well, Wen Chu. Go ahead. Thank you so much. I'm going to share my screen first. Um, just to make sure, can you hear my, uh, can you see my screen? Yes, we can. Yeah, great. <laughs> um, so I, I'm going to say sorry before I start my presentation. So because I have the internet issue today, so I'm going to off my camera to make sure uh, the quality of my audio is all good during the presentation. Okay, um, let's step back to here. Um, good afternoon, everyone. So welcome to the CCI uh, Discovery webinar. Um, thanks for Kaya and uh, uh, Ivan for the inclusive summary of the two subjects. And we are the one of the um, after your undergraduate study. So my name is Wen Shu Zhang, the course leader for the CCI MSc Computer Science course. Um, I will be the main contact point for any questions related to this course. So here I'm put my email address on this page. I'm happy to answer any burning questions as soon as possible. Um, well, before we take a look at the MSc Computer Science course, I would like to introduce myself to you and talk a little bit more about my background and my experiences. I have a general background of computer science before I came to UK to study my PhD in computer graphics at the National Center for Computer Animation. Uh, my research at that time was automatic 3D modeling based on a single image. After graduation, I worked at the University of Southampton as a postdoc research fellow. It was a very interesting project that I worked with a team of biologists to find the leading factors of speciation. Uh, my job was to design the computer vision algorithm and, and develop the research software for automated shape measurement to avoid a human bias, uh, reduce time and labor cost during the traditional process. The study from this project, I focused on cross-disciplinary research to push the boundary of computer science. From year 2020, I started teaching full-time as a lecturer in computer games design and development course at Cardiff Metropolitan University. I enjoy my time there to see my students find their own career pathways. After two years teaching in the pandemic time, I joined the Norwich University of the Arts to teach computer science for their games development course. It was a challenging task to teach STEM subjects in a traditional art and design school, but I'm, I'm glad that I did it last year and which led my way to UAL as the course leader for MSc Computer Science at CCI. Well, that's a short introduction of myself. I think it should answer the question what bring me to teach computer science at CCI at some degree. Um, the key point to have a computer science course at an art university, I think it is to lower the barrier to using technology and improve the accessibility to artistic and human activities. 
such as drawing, performance, uh, playing music instruments, and dancing, etc. This is needed now more than ever because digital technology is everywhere. No one can resist it. But only with people having excellent understanding of tech for good will design products with positive social impacts. That's why we welcome students from various backgrounds, and we hope you will keep striving in your fields to embed positive consideration of using technology to make this world a better place. I love computer science because it does change our daily life in many ways, like the applications that are listed here. They change the method, how we generate contents, how marketing team communicate with customers, how to improve business model in traditional industry, and how to entertain ourselves without physical limitations. The most exciting thing here is the computer science helps us to find a solution to reduce repeat work and time costs to make people focus on the most important aspect. So what exactly we will offer you to study with us at CCI? Um, this has been covered by Femi, but before I answer the, the question, I would like to re-emphasize that CCI has its unique social mission in three key areas, so which are digital inclusion, diversity in technology, and digital entrepreneurship. Our course will be designed around these uh, social missions to make sure our students bear this in mind. In CCI, we have dedicated and designed teaching spaces for us to carry out lectures, seminars, and workshops. We have a bunch of technical resources to support your course projects and research projects as well, such as the notable laptops and VR kits, etc. Um, apart from the academic team, we also have a fantastic team of technicians, which you can book sessions with to discuss about difficulties in your project. As an MSc course, we aim to extend your knowledge in computer science by offering a greater depth of training than undergraduate study. This will range from advanced knowledge in computer science, such as advanced algorithms and complexity, advanced data structures for AI, cybersecurity futures, and advanced software engineering. You should upskill your programming skills by building your course portfolios, mini projects, and dissertation topics. We will discuss and analyze cross-disciplinary case studies to introduce the real-world scenarios and the potential solutions. You will gain good awareness of computational ethics and to address ethical issues and using ethics-driven approach to design ecosystem. At last, you will learn entrepreneurship skills from our industrial partners and the knowledge exchange team. Uh, well, um, I hope this explains why we need MSc Computer Science course at UAL. Uh, we'll now um, give the floor back to Georgina. Thank you. Hello, thank you so much, Wenxiu, for your presentation. It was a pleasure hearing from you. Now, welcome back, everyone. We're here on this, on this discovery webinar, and the purpose of the next 15 minutes, between 15 minutes and 20 minutes, will be to uh, cover any questions, doubts, comments, thoughts that we receive from the audience. So yeah, at this stage, I invite Everyone watching right now, if there's anything you would like to discuss with our team of course leaders and senior lecturers, uh, now is the time to do so. We did receive a question from the audience, which I would like to bring up to the screen so everyone can, can see as well. I'm going to start with this one. Um, again, feel free. We encourage you to engage with us, comment on the chat section, whatever, whatever you would like to hear more about. And in the meantime, we're going to start with this one. So we received this question from the audience, and it says, coming from a non-traditional dropped out but have proof of extraordinary ability and industry experience in media arts, would it be advisable to apply to a UAL CCI program? 
I would like to now give the opportunity to Femi maybe to answer to this question. Would you like to take this one, Femi? Oh, thank you, uh, Georgina. Yeah, uh, that's a fantastic question, which uh, maybe I might not have covered properly in my uh, presentation. So uh, we would expect that uh, you have certain ac academic qualification for you to be able to come into uh, CCI uh, to study. But having said that, uh, academic qualification uh, can be, there is always equivalence in terms of uh, experience and exposure as well. So uh, we do not restrict uh, our students. Uh, we do have mature students as well. So academic qualification can be equivalent to studying years of experience. So if you do have uh, substantial experience and you don't have a normal traditional uh, academic qualification, uh, and you've got the industrial experience, uh, by all means, we are happy to uh, look at your application and then perhaps offer you a place. Uh, we don't discriminate in CCI. Uh, we want to move everybody. And you can see one of our mission is show showing, uh, we, is, is the aspect of the social inclusion. So uh, everybody is included. Uh, and it's a very interesting uh, community that we're building. So, and I did mention, uh, CCI is another small world where you have that opportunity to integrate and you're able to take up that skills that would actually take you to the next human age. So the next thing of human, the next uh, activity of human or the next surgeon of human uh, is that incorporation of uh, computing technology into our creativity and with biomes we we are ready to change the world uh, from that perspective that should be our contribution uh, to to the entire world and yeah by homies someone of uh, such background can make applications and we would always consider application we would always encourage them to apply yes thank you femi for your answer i hope that Answer the question. If there's anything else that comes up, please to let us know. The following question I would like to share with all of you here is a question from Melody. I'm just going to share it on the screen. And the question is the following. As an illustrator joining CCI LCC, London uh, College of Communications, in September from the IVM course, what can the creative computing course offer? Or what can I gain having come from a more traditional practice? Who would like to pick this one up? Uh, let's, Ivan, if you want to go for that, if that's okay. I can pick that up. Yeah, I mean, I've taught on creative computing before and I know the team there. Um, it, just to be clear, uh, I think it, there is also the creative computing course at the CCI uh, and, and we're a bit different than the creative computing courses. And I think maybe it's good to draw a little distinction between them, which is to say that uh, especially for computer science. And I'll, maybe I'll speak a little for data science unless KL wants to say something. Um, but we will focus a bit more on um, the underlying, let's say, algorithms, data, a bit more of the mathematics, um, maybe a bit more of the capital S science aspects of it than the creative computing program will, um, whereas they'll focus a bit more on the creative practice aspects of it. Um, but as far as what that can offer someone who does illustration or the arts, um, I mean, th there's a lot. I mean, I've worked, uh, I worked with an illustrator on my card game and I thought it was fantastic to work, uh, it, to do hand-drawn things at the same time as computer-drawn things. Um, there's lots of ways you can do algorithmic and critical computational sketching. So that's a thing. Um, a lot of apps and tools that we develop are drawing apps because they're nice and fun to do and they're visual and they use algorithms and, uh, a lot of what we see are visual interfaces. Um, and some of the best people who I've worked with uh, in computing, they've started out as photographers, believe it or not. So I think anyone who has an organized uh, creative practice, who's used to dealing with tools, who understands how to put systems together and do an abstraction, which is definitely photography and definitely illustration to an extent, um, can move into the sphere and do interesting things. Um, I mean, for me, I'm really interested in computer art and I, I love illustration. And uh, I, have, I have quite a few pictures on the wall from digital illustrators uh, who use Photoshop and AI and mixed tools and they use pen plotters. Uh, again, I could go on about this for ages, but I think hopefully that's given you a little something. 
Thank you, Evan. Would someone else like to add something on top of what Evan just shared? Yeah, Kaya, go ahead. I mean, Ivan pretty much covered uh, the most um, important stuff. But what I wanted to tell was any, anybody who comes from a traditional background and then you add something with kind of uh, uh, computing and a bit of uh, AI or a machine learning, it's always a pairing option, which makes you uh, more dynamic and more industry ready. So I would definitely recommend um, uh, somebody who uh, who's willing to do that and and uh, I, I feel like you you should you should try something on um, kind of blending two stuffs, which makes you uh, more creative and uh, you know, kind of more um, employable, and and that's what the industry looks for. And if you look at um, uh, the earlier stuff, how people are kind of employed, we have separate people for web programming, we have separate people for. Uh, the, the data science and stuff like that. Now, uh, there are some uh, occupations or some employ um, some places which require a full stack stuff, right? So if you're a person who could manage a bit of uh, web programming, who could do a front end a bit and a bit of back end, we, we love people who has that kind of uh, mixed skills, right? Instead of employing one person separately for the basic UI stuff. If it's, if it, the, I'm, I'm telling about not all jobs, but there are some jobs which makes you a unique pick. So I would say like it, it would be an um, added point uh, just to what Ivan was saying. Thank you. Thank you, Gayal. That's fantastic. Femi, go ahead. <laughs> so just to finalize, uh, um, it's just to help uh, what Gayal and what Ivan has said in that context. And it's quite to understand that CCA, the Creative Computing Institute, has got a harder strand. So we are looking, we are the, uh, I'll say the big S science side of things. So there is creative computing, there is creative robotics, and we are basically computer science and data science. So it will be, you're taking it from the barest minimum to the, the top end, the very uh, end to end kind of thing. And we are offering, uh, the, the best of that skills uh, in that context. So uh, anyone could actually apply uh, to CCI and we would always, it depends on how far you want to take it. Uh, and we in the computer science and, and data science and AI, uh, we would always go to, 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 the, to the highest level of depth in terms of uh, making sure the relevant skills and relevant knowledge are, are being passed out and you are actually well equipped to be able to go out there to have that ultimate freedom, which we have mentioned earlier. Thank you. Thank you, Femi. All right, so moving forward, we did receive a couple of questions that um, we've already replied on the chat. Might be best for some more like logic logistical stuff to get in touch with us on our email on cci at arts.ac.uk. So feel free to please drop us uh, an email over there. We'll, we'll help you with uh, your personal case. And now I would like to pick up another question, which is the following one. Is the uh, MSc course full-time the first year? Who would like to pick this one up? Um, if Wenchi is available, I can let Wenchi go. Uh, but I can quickly uh, touch on that. So uh, the MSc course, courses, uh, the data science and AI course, as well as the computer science course, uh, we have them full-time at the moment. Um, so if you intend to come on part-time, uh, we may be able to look at that. Uh, some students might be able to go on part-time, depends on uh, their their plans and uh, their working schedule or their life plan. So, But yes, at this point in time, we have a full-time where we expect you to finish the entire course uh, within a year. So uh, we have three terms, which is over 10 weeks. And then we have uh, the summer, which is used for the, uh, the project perspective. So usually we'll call that a research project where you will be able to carry out uh, or to demonstrate all the skills you've learned in the six uh, different units. So we are going to cover six different units for each of those courses. That's computer science, MSc, and data science and AI MSc, you will be having an opportunity to do the six different courses. And the seventh one will be demonstrating all those skills you've learned from all those six uh, units to be able to 
uh, put all of them together and demonstrate that you are now a computer scientist at, uh, uh, specialized uh, with advanced skills or a data science and AI expert with an advanced skill uh, as well. Uh, I'll let, uh, let uh, when you had anything, if she's able to, uh, if not, then yeah, we can carry on. Thank you, Femi. Yes, we received a message from Wenchu. She's not able to be on the on the call right now, but she's sending her apologies. So yeah, if there's anything more specific about this question, please do uh, contact us on our email and we'll make sure to reply as soon as possible. All right. Um, we haven't received any other questions from the audience. So just encourage everyone watching right now, any burning questions or thoughts you would like to share with us. Uh, there's around like five minutes left. So make sure you take the most out of this time with this amazing and talented team that we have uh, here with us today. And what I would like to cover now, which is um, a frequently asked question that we receive quite often, is on the size of the courses and classes, because these are like a new set of courses. It would be really nice to just talk briefly about that, just to just so prospective students can have an expectation on what is the learning environment going to be like and how many peers that we're going to have around and how will be their experience on that front. Would someone like to cover this one? Um, on the class size, I would like to cover that, uh, although we are just starting uh, the new course, but we expect to grow from what we have. So we're aiming for a group class size at the moment for every uh, uh, course, all the courses. So for computer science, expect a group class size uh, up to about 20, 22, depends on the number. Uh, and then obviously we're looking at growing, but there will still be in groups. So even if we have two, three groups, we'll always make sure all students get the relevant support uh, as much as possible. So the class size is we're aiming for a group at the moment, uh, up to about 20 students, depends. Um, and that will mean that you get the best uh, of your lecturers uh, teaching you in all units uh, and making sure you have the relevant learning outcomes uh, uh, acquired or get those at the end of every uh, teaching sessions. Um, having said that, like I did say, we're looking at growing, uh, but even if we grow into multiple groups, we will still have everybody been getting the best of uh, the, the boat words that we mentioned earlier, which is uh, that class size of having to get that best from your lecturers. Thank you, Femi, for covering that one. We just received another question from Lois. Lois is asking, how best can I prepare for the BSc in data science and AI for the creative industries between now and the start of the course? Just a note here that the MSc in data science and AI for the creative industries is a different program to the ones that we're covering here today. Someone might be able to maybe answer to this one, just sharing some suggestions or thoughts that just come along. Uh, so if anyone is happy to give Lois an answer here. Yes, Kayel, go ahead. So I just have a quick answer for you. You don't have to really do that much. You just come here, we'll take care of it. That's uh, pretty much straight. But still, if you still wanted to do something before you kind of come, and um, we really appreciate for the kind of preparation, what you could do is like, it again depends on what is your skill set as of now. So I always feel that uh, it's good to investigate the weak points we have, or I would say like where we really feel there is a gap. For example, maybe I'm, I'm not somebody who's good at mathematics and I know that the MSc data science might require that because you're coming from a different background. Maybe you can work out on those um, materials. You can join some courses for uh, basic mathematics and statistics stuff. Or if you feel like you, you wanted to have something on a programming and you're very new to it and and you wanted to do some preparation on that then you pick up some courses on whichever language you feel comfortable maybe python to start with and things like that or you're somebody who's wanted to have this into an entrepreneurial angle then you could you could browse something as how uh, data insights can help in business so again what i feel like is uh, the, the perspective of looking at it is very important so that you can manage the time very well. Um, so you just find out which, are, I mean, I want you to browse through our course list or you can mail to any one of us. 
So which requires uh, the, there are like year zero, one and two. And I mean, a kind of I'm saying for BSc, but for MSc, it's like one year, but still you have three terms. And you can look at the scores and wherever you feel that there can be some basics required, um, you can just brush up on that. And you could contact any of us and we'll be of support to you, I mean, if that answers your question. Thank you, Kayal. That was super helpful. Yeah. Hopefully the, the question has been answered. If not, again, our inbox is open for any questions, any queries, whatever you feel like sharing with us, we would be super happy to help you out so you can email us in this um inbox that i'm sharing here cci at arts.ac.uk so we're almost done with the webinar today but i would like to finish off the session with a question that i would like everyone here on the call with us uh sharing a little bit more about and this is the following question it's what is the cci community like and here i would like to invite you to just share something that you love about being part of CCI and, and UAL and whatever that comes along would be super, super welcome from all of you. I'm going to start asking Evan, who's on top of the screen. Hi, uh, yeah. What's community like? Um, it's been very creative. Uh, I mean, I know that's in the title and it's a bit of a silly, maybe silly, redundant thing to say, but I just really appreciate all the things that people are doing. Um, even if they're going to other fields where they're maybe not going to work in art or design, um, they're going to software consulting or programming or some other more back-end type work. Um, it's just it's just kind of fun and playful and that's something I really enjoy. Um, but it is also critical. There's a lot of really interesting people publishing work on, um, again, on, on computing systems and structures of power and uh, our relationship with computers. Uh, our use of computers, um, the use of resources around computers and sustainability, uh, you know, and all that I, I love to keep up with. So, yeah, that's it in a nutshell. Thank you, Evan. Wonderful to hear that. Kayal, you're next on my screen. What is the CCI community like for you? Mm, for me, I would say there's another name for CCI for me, which is CCC, okay, C cube. So it's like creative computing community. Okay, so that's what I would like to put in. Mm, having said that, like as Ivan was saying, um, you could, with this answer, you could look at like how much uh, technical decorum he was just adding to that. And each one of them here has a very unique skill apart from the basic skills which are required for any of the computer science and the data science courses. Um, so I would also say that having said that technically on the research side, on the creativity side, um, I'm, I'm a person who newly entered into the community, right? So the one important thing which I really admire and kind of feel at home is the friendly behavior and the kind of welcoming attitude. And uh, though everybody attempts to have some kind of diversity, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm again a living witness who, who have really seen uh, the 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 there's the so much of diversity which you could feel inside the industry. I mean, in, inside the institute and. It's, it's in its full sense. That's what I would like to underline. Um, it's like you you feel you can voice out. You you, you you just jump on anybody and just say hi and hello and, and people are ready to help. So I would always feel this is something very, very important on a human value, on an ethical value, apart from all the technical stuff, which is, which is right here, very strong in my perspective. Thank you, Kayal. The human component is definitely the best thing about CCI, I totally agree with that. So thanks so much for sharing your your perspective on that. Now I would like to ask Femi. Femi, what's the CCI community like for you? Uh, thank you, uh, Georgina. Uh, that was a fantastic question. And I think all students uh, and every other person uh, should think about coming to CCI. So I'll look at these from the context of three aspects. The first one is the aspect of humanity. So we see human and you would see uh, Kayal that mentioned that of diversity. So it is so much diverse that you don't even know uh, how far, uh, you don't even know the difference uh, when we talk about human. So it is exceptionally accommodating. And that's what HAT is all about. So it's all about humanities. It's not about uh, getting the best of humans. So I think that community is already there. Uh, the second thing then is the context of the skills that we've got in this environment. So uh, the skills is phenomenal. We have people from 
different background. And because we are not in a major other, as compared to maybe other engineering colleges, uh, everybody is thinking in a very different uh, is, is thinking from a different perspective, looking at things in a diverse view. Bringing all that together is the most interesting thing you could ever think of. In research, we talked about uh, multidisciplinary research. So multidisciplinary or multidisciplinary thoughts. Putting that together in one community is what CCI has got. And that's where the innovation, creativity, and every other thing is coming from. And uh, apart from the accommodation of humanity, apart from uh, the collaboration and integration that I've put into place, uh, locations of CCI are quite, uh, uh, location of CCI is quite strategic. Uh, for example, we are located in central London. Uh, we have another one in Peckham Road. Uh, so at the end of the day, it is having the best of both, both worlds. So you always have, the enjoyment side of things, which uh, everybody would need to have at one point. You have the work side of things where you needed to get the best in terms of skills and get yourself prepared to have that ultimate freedom. And then you have the opportunity to integrate all that together to leave as human. So leave as human uh, and taking you to the next human age is what CCI is all about. And that's one of the best things you could get in terms of the community. Thank you. Wow, Femi, thanks so much for your answer. Really felt that one. <laughs> so to finish off with, the, with this round of questions, um, when she just messaged us uh, her response, so at least she could be here with us and sharing a little bit about uh, her perspective on this one. And her answer to what is the CI community like was, work with like-minded people together makes me feel at home. And I think that with that, we can just close this space today. And I would like to thank all the colleagues in my team, Kiyali, Ivan, Femi, and Wenchu for making the space to share a little bit about yourself and the courses that you'll be leading. It was a pleasure hearing a little bit more about you and all the expertise and all the passion that you're bringing to this new set of courses that we're launching at CCI. Thanks to everyone watching who stayed with us until now. I hope it was an insightful, useful session that your questions about the courses and the CCI were answered. And if you got a tiny bit excited about joining us in this learning journey at CCI alongside these amazing and talented colleagues and many more who are not here today, then our mission here today is accomplished. So thank you so much, everyone. If you want to find out more about the courses, you can visit our website, which I'm just going to put on the screen right now. So you have it. And here it is. Um, so please feel free to have a look. If there's any question, you can message us, email us at any point. We have an amazing team of, of, of humans just um, making amazing work. So we'll definitely get back to you as soon as we can. And we also invite you to follow us on social media you can find us on twitter and instagram on ul underscore cci you can subscribe to our youtube channel where we post amazing lectures and super valuable content on creative computing and with that said just a big thank you to everyone and we look forward to meeting you in real life very soon thanks everyone and take care <laughs>